Her known as the kissing bug has made its way to Delaware. This month, the CDC confirmed the insect bit a girl's face there, which is the first discovery in that state. Although she did not get sick, the bug can carry a deadly disease known as Chagas. 13 on your side, Shanna Grove verifies. Does the kissing bug present a danger to Michiganders? We took this question to the experts at Michigan State University. Entomologist Howard Russell gave us an answer after we got a grasp on the basics. Don't let the kissing bug nickname fool you. These insects come closer to a horror movie than a rom-com. This is a pretty large insect, sort of flat along the back. It has a pointy head and a beak on the underside. Generally has little red spots along the margin of the abdomen. Favoring the face. It is a blood feeding insect that feeds on people. Uh, when they sleep primarily. They're mostly active at night. It is a vector of Chagas disease, which is carried mostly by rodents. The bug picks it up from a reservoir rodent, essentially, and then passes the pathogen on to people. According to the CDC, only a few cases of Chagas disease from contact with the bugs are documented in the U.S., but it can cause serious heart and stomach illnesses. Plus, how it transmits the parasite is pretty gross. As they feed, if they happen to um, poop in a wound or say in sort of the lining of the eyes or the mucous membranes, the the uh, pathogen can be passed that way. The CDC estimates around 300,000 people with Chagas disease live in the U.S., but most are infected in parts of Latin America. The bugs are typically found in the southern United States, Mexico, Central America, and South America. They're known to occur in Ohio and the states just south of us, but I, I would think they're pretty rare there. So we can verify, does the kissing bug present a danger to Michiganders? It does not. Uh, it's not known to occur in Michigan. So I don't think people have to worry too much about it. The CDC says if you find a bug you think might be a kissing bug, don't squish it. Slide the bug into a container and fill it with rubbing alcohol or freeze it. Then you can take it to your local extension service, health department or university lab for identification. Back to you.